Today there is a formula. Does anybody remember the formula for circumference of a circle or the distance around the circle? No, no, that's the measure. That's how many degrees there are around a circle. I'm talking about like the physical length. All right, what's the physical length? Do you remember the formula? Yep, close, radius times two. So that's a good thing we should know anyway. The diameter is always the radius times two, or we say the diameter is two R. All right, so that's something you need to know. Do you remember the formula? Yes, it did. Pi. Yes, you're awesome. Right. So the circumference you can write as two pi r, or I want you to say the circumference is simply pi times the diameter. All right, pi times the diameter. So again, it was a mystery for the longest time. Right. If you were to walk around, they didn't know what the relationship was between the diameter and uh, the circumference, all right? But they were able to calculate what pi is. They were able to calculate what pi is, all right? So once they knew that, there was a relationship that the distance around is simply pi times the diameter, or you can choose the formula two pi r, all right? I personally like pi times the diameter, all right? But if they give you the radius, you just multiply by two, then multiply by uh, the pi, and that will give you the distance around. All right, now in my last class, I'm just making a quick little note here. In my last class, we did all of the odds. And then I posted the video. So if you're having trouble tonight doing the odds, you can look at the video, that's the expectation. All right, and we're gonna continue doing the what now? We're gonna do the evens, all right? So now I wanna find the distance around, all right, for number two. So everybody's gonna tell me that the distance around is circumference is pi times what? Times 17. Yes, pi times 17, because 17 is the diameter. So now everybody take out your calculator. <clears throat> We're not using 3.14. There's a pi button on your calculator. So I want everybody to do pi, find the pi button, and then hit times 17. What? As long as it has pi on it. All right. So now pi times 17 is about what? Now we're going to round to three decimal places, not just one, but three decimals. So we're gonna say it's 53 point what? I want pi times 17. 53.407. All right, and then we'll say feet. All right, 53.407 feet. So everybody look at the calculator, make sure you have the pi button on the calculator. Where's your calculator? Good. You got it, good. Brennan, do you have a calculator? Because I'm just going around the room and you're just going to do these problems. Jackson, you got a calculator today? All right. So now, number four. All right. Let's go over for number four. Tell me what to do. Circumference. That's what we're looking for. So what's the formula for circumference? Here it is right here. That's the formula, circumference equals. What's that? Don't say 3.14, just say pi times What's the diameter of the circle on number four? How much? Five. On number, yes, pi times five. So now do pi on your calculator times five. And tell me what that is. 15 point to three decimal places. 
Seven. Zero. Good. 15.707, and we say that would be centimeters. All right, everybody okay with that? Ethan, does that make sense? Yeah. All right, now question number six. All right, you're telling me the circumference. Brennan, what's the formula? Yes, pi times 20. And tell me what that is to three decimal places. Six two point eight eight three. Shh, shh. I'm trying to teach him. Time point what? I need three decimal places. Is that right? Six two. Did anybody else get six two point eight three nine? No, no, no. Six two point eight three. Eight three what? Three. One. Okay, now remember, if we're rounding, you look at the fourth decimal place. If it's five or more, it goes up. So is it 83.2? It's 831. But what's after the one? Well, after the one is an eight. So then that moves it up to a two. All right? And, I, and again, that's another reason why everyone's been rounding since literally second grade. All right, so I'm asking you to round to three decimal places. When you round to three decimal places, that means you look at the fourth point, okay? So that was number six, all right? Maya, you're on number eight. What am I doing? Um, oh, by the way, put centimeters down. 22 times pi. Yes, circumference equals 22 pi, which is roughly? 59.115. And then we'd say yards. All right, easy as that. What's, what's the radius is what? 11, right? If the radius is 11, that makes the diameter what? Yeah. What is that? You see how I got 22 or not? Right, so, so again, I'm just trying to make sure we're clear together, right? Right, I was, I was happy you asked me a question, but I thought I made it clear. You good now, right? All right, that's all, all right? So now I'm on number 10, Josh. Okay, so it's radius, so it's 25 times two. Right, so the circumference is just gonna be. The circumference is just the one But I want you to tell me it's 50 times pi. 50 times pi. And then we'd say that's about what? 157.07. Somebody double check him. Yeah. Right, is that okay? Yeah. Oh, now, would I care on the test seriously? No, I really wouldn't. I don't care about rounding. All right, but I think it's important to know if it's rounded to three decimal places, I think it would be 157.080. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Right. I'm not going to mark you wrong for that. No, I don't care about rounding. If you can't round, go back to fifth grade. That's my philosophy. Yeah, but if I round, it would take off? For you, probably, but no one else. I like your philosophy. No, no. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the numbers, I care. Do you understand how to get the circumference? Some teachers are just say, yeah, I'm taking points. I don't care about the rounding. I'm just saying I'm asking around to three decimal places. Everyone in here, if you forgot how to round to three decimal places, are listening, and now you know how to what? Round to three decimal places, right? If you can't round to three decimal places, I got a bigger problem. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Right, that's why I don't care about the rounding. All right, I really don't. All right, if you put 0 0.079 and I say 0 0.080, I don't care. I don't mark it wrong, all right? Just be careful. And if you don't know how to round, it'd be good to get out of seventh grade knowing how to round. All right, here we go. So we're on number 12. So Allie, go. Um, would you do, um, yeah, you do 18? <clears throat> That's right. 18 pi, and tell me what that is about. 56.519. And then we would say units. I don't know why they didn't put a measurement there. They just decided to put units. All right, now I wish somebody would speak up if you don't know. What? Oh, nothing. I want to know. No, I'm going right in order. Jackson, you're going to do the word problem. Jackson, tell me about 14. What am I doing? Uh, 
Would you have to multiply the radius by two? Yes. And then multiply that by five? Yes, sir. So what is that? What's 2.5 times two? Five. Right. All right, nice work. So tell me. 15.708. And then that's units. Good. Very nice. Okay, you get to read. Go. 16. Okay, so you realize, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, I'm going to draw two circles. One circle has a diameter of what? 20, not the radius, right? So the diameter is 20. And then I'm gonna draw another circle that has a radius of what? Or a diameter five. of five. So we wanna know how much is the difference in the circumference? No. So, so I need you to tell me how do I find the circumference of the big circle? Okay. What would that be? Um, 20 times pi. 20 times pi. Shh, shh, shh. And I want to know what that is approximately. Um, 62.832. Good. Okay. And that's, I'm trying to measure what they measured in uh, feet. All right. Feet. Now, what's the circumference of the smaller circle? Okay, so now what's the difference? Forty seven point one two four feet. Okay, anybody have any issues with that? That wasn't that hard. Right, just find the two circumferences and subtract. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm copying this. I'm gonna make it smaller and I'm gonna put it over here in its position. All right, Trey, you get to read 18. Go ahead. Wall yeah. Okay, so now we're going to draw a pool, a circular pool. And what's the diameter of that pool? What does it say? Oh, 20. 20 what? 20 yards. 20 yards, right? And now they're going to make a circular walkway around it, correct? So I'm going to draw a circular walkway. And the walkway is how wide? Okay. So I'm drawing this, and I'm asking you if you see that's one yard. Very smart, very smart. Hold up, hold up. Right, hold on a second. That was really good. So this is one yard. All right, now again, most people make a mistake because they think they can visualize it and they can get the right answer. And I've learned if you learn to draw it out, it's much easier to get the right answer. So he immediately knew that we need the circumference and the circumference was pi times the diameter. But a lot of kids made a mistake and said the diameter is how much? 21 instead of what, Trey? 22. So the circumference now is pi times 22. And tell me what that is approximately. Point. One, one, six. And we're dealing in what here? E. No, yeah, you are. Yards. 
Are we okay with that? Very nice. Okay. All right, now I'm going to let Evan, if he's available. All right, Evan, are you there? Yes. All right, you're on number 20, buddy. Read it. Okay. Um, so a baseball has a radius of about 1.5 uh, inches. Home plate is 16 inches wide. If a baseball were rolled across home plate, how many complete rotations would it take to cover the distance? Well, I'm gonna physically draw this, all right, so we can get a better understanding, all right? So here is what home plate traditionally looks like, except it wasn't supposed to. So that's home plate traditionally. All right, now it is, it says that it is uh, 16 inches wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a 16 inches right here. And then I have a baseball right here that is 1.5 radius. So, this is 1.5, I don't really like that, 1.5. The question is, if I take this baseball right there and I roll it, how many revolutions will it make before it gets to the end? All right, so now what I'm gonna do, Evan, is I'm gonna roll the baseball one time. And when I roll it one time, it's going to land right there. What do you think this distance is from here to here called? What is this distance? Can anybody tell me? Nope. A lot of people thought it was the radius. Nope. It is the circumference, right. When you roll something, and I'm going to try to draw a picture of it rolling. So, so watch this, guys. Everybody try to pay attention because visualizing is important. Here's the ball and I'm gonna roll it this way. Does everybody see I tried to demonstrate it rolling? Not very good, but like hopefully you understand my animation. All right, so I just rolled it one time. All right, believe it or not, Josh is 100% correct. When the ball rolls one time, it rolls a circumference. So I need everybody to write on their notes right here one revolution is equal to one circumference. Please write that. One revolution is equal to one circumference. So I need someone, no, not someone. I need uh, Evan to tell me the circumference of the baseball. What's the circumference of the baseball going to be? Evan? Hi. Um, so I got 9.425. Yeah, but I'm, a, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying, how did you get that, though? Oh, well, um, since it's the radius, you have to multiply 1.5 times 2 to make the diameter, and then you get 3. Right. There you go. I like that explanation. 3 times pi. So the circumference of the circle is 9.425 inches. So how many times is it going to roll across home plates? How do I figure that out, Evan? Um, 9.425 divided by 16. Now think about what you said. Are you dividing the ball or are you dividing the plates? The plate. You're dividing the plates. So instead of saying 9.425 divided by 16, you would say what? Oh, 16 divided by? That's exactly right. So do 16 divided by 0.425 for me. And tell me what that is, the three decimal places. Um, 
I got 1.698. That would be revolutions. So the ball can spin 1.698 times and it'll make it all the way across the home plate. Does that make any sense? Yes. Yeah, that's tricky, guys. I'm telling you. That's why I asked you to put down one revolution is the same as one circumference. So when somebody tells you how far do you travel when you're on a circle, you have to calculate the what? The Thank you, Josh, for listening. I appreciate you. It's the circumference. All right, one revolution is one circumference. That's why I need everybody to know. All right, so that brings me back up top. So 22, you get to read. Ethan, go. Okay, so everybody's gonna draw a circle. And this is the wheel of the chariots. And what does it say about the radius? Yes, it's one foot. So everybody's drawing a circle with a radius of one foot. Okay, now keep going. Right, so one time around the track was 2,300 feet. So now what? What's the question? Come on now, if you were listening, you can do this. Tell me, tell me what to do. How far does the chariot travel if the wheel, if its wheel goes around one time? What's going around one time called on a circle? A revolution. But what's a revolution called? The distance. One what? One circumference. That's what I'm asking you. This is what I asked you to write down. One revolution is one circumference. So then you should be able to reference it. One revolution is one circumference. So what's the circumference formula? I didn't hear you. I want the circumference formula. At the very beginning of the class, I said, here's the circumference formula. Say it. Time. I don't understand why you're not looking at your notes where it says up here, the circumference. What is the circumference formula? I can't hear you. What number? I, I don't understand. I really don't understand, Ethan. It's right here. We've just done it so many times. What's the formula for circumference? Either what? Times what? Times the radius. Or you can do what? I just don't stop rocking. It's making noises. Look up on the board and tell me what the circumference formula is. This one, what does that say? Yes, pi times the diameter. That's what we've been doing. The circumference formula, say it again, is what? Thank you. Now I'm going back to the chariot race. All right. The chariot race says that his... Uh-oh, he has a radius. You just said it was pi times the diameter. If one is the radius, what would be the diameter? Two. Two is the diameter. Two is the diameter. 
If the radius is one, the diameter is two. So now what is the circumference going to be of the circle, of the wheel? Read this. What's the diameter of the circle, of this circle? That's the radius. Two, I don't know why you're asking me. Pi times what? Two, so do that on your calculator. Six point two eight three feet. So now, how many times is the wheel going to turn if it has to travel two thousand three hundred feet? What do I have to do? Tell him, Brennan. Divide what? You're capping, Jackson. What do we divide? I'm trying to tell you that because you made the same mistake last time. What am I doing, Josh? Right. Let me let me try to show you what they're doing so so you understand better. And I totally understand it's kind of hard. All right, I'm not arguing with you. So here's the track, guys. Watch me make a track. This is the track that they're driving on. All right. Here's the wheel. I'm going to try to draw the wheel. This wheel is spinning around. Uh, watch me, please. This wheel is spinning around, going around the track. Do you see this? How far around the track is there? How many feet? There are 2,300 feet in this track. So if you stood here and you walked around, every time you go around, you're gonna go how many feet? 2,300. Unfortunately, you're on a wheel that's moving. Every time the wheel goes around, it's traveling how far? No. It's traveling the circumference, whoever said that, that's brilliant. It's 6.283 feet. Every time the wheel turns, it's going 6.238 feet. So if there are 2,300, feet, how many times does the wheel have to spin around? Are we dividing up the wheel or are we dividing up the track? Yes, you're taking 2,300 divided by 6.283. That's not what you said, right? And so how many times is 6,200 divided by 6.283? Someone tell me. Three what? Three. Three sixty. Okay, and then that would you wouldn't say you would say revolutions. Three hundred and sixty-six revolutions. That's how many times it would go around. I think. Tell me. Stop with the noise now. I'm trying to get through the work. What? A revolution is not a revolution is a unit, believe it or not. Shh. You're going to get it wrong. I want you to write revolution. I want you to understand what I'm saying, correct? Every time the wheel goes around, it's traveling its circumference. It's traveling its circumference. All right. That's what you have to know. And Ethan, if you don't know that, you're supposed to write the information down. One revolution is equal to one circumference. Circumference is pi times the diameter, or you can say it's two pi r. All right, here we go, 24. All right, let me have Maya, go. Which is true. Shh. Right, so what do I do? Yes, exactly. 
So the circumference of the Earth is 7926.41 pi. So if you were to walk around the Earth, you would travel how far? Shh. What? That's amazing. That's how big the Earth is. All right, 24,900.263 miles. What? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you read 26. All right, so again, easy, very easy. All right, read 26, go. So again, we're gonna draw a placemat and then you're gonna do 15 inches. Now what? Yep. Yes. So what am I doing? Right. The circumference of that circle is pi times 15. So what's that? 48 what? You want to get 48. Uh-uh. Oh, 48 inches. Yes, you would want 48 point what? It's not exactly. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't care. I want, I know, just listen. To, I want it rounded. I don't care what they're saying. I'm telling you what's important. So what is it? I said round to three decimal places. Yeah, about 47.124 what inches all right but the question says how many feet so now you got to be careful it's sold by the foot so what do i have to do yes because what did you do yeah but i don't want 48 divided by 12. i want i want 47.124 divided by 12. that's what i want you to tell me and what is it That's what you would want, 3.926. Now look, Trey, I think you're outstanding. Do you hear me? I'm totally fine with your explanation, but that's not what I want, right? And you are correct. If you put four feet, I would say, yes, you know exactly what to do, all right? But I'm trying to get you to draw a figure, right? Every single time I drew the figure, and you know what the first question out of my last class, do I have to draw it? Right, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's not funny, all right? It's so easy if you learn to draw a picture. You're gonna improve tremendously, all right? But I can't make you do that, all right? So now, again, your homework is now to do the what? Odds, all of the odds. And let's say you get to number 25, and you're like, I have no clue how to do that. What can you do? YouTube video, that's exactly correct. That's what I wanna hear, all right? So everybody's getting on the odds right now. What? Oh, is there one more even? Oh, wow. Thank you, how much time do we have? Okay, good, good, we can do 28 now. Boys, the reason why I don't want you sitting back there is because you're interrupting me. Go ahead, what? Oh, I don't care. 28. All right. What do we got on 28? Go ahead. Read it to me. Allie, go. Well, that's easy. What is it? Right. Thank you, kiddo. I don't care. I said three decimal places. Six, eight, nine. 81 point seven, six, eight. Six, eight, one. Okay. And so we would say six, eight, one inches. Okay. So now go back and do the odds. Go do the odds right now. All right. Okay. 
The end. All right, Evan. Again, the odds are up on video if you're having trouble or you get stuck, okay? But tomorrow I'm just going to check the work. Okay. Have a great rest of the day, buddy. You too.